game number two here of our Saturday doubleheader. And we are getting set and ready to roll here for the men's contest. It is going to be the Taylor Trojan 7 and 12 on the year taking on the St. Francis Cougars at 11 and 8. We thank you so much for joining us here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Hunter Sosenheimer here calling your play-by-play. -play. Excited to be here for this contest as we take a deeper look here at these two squads. Taylor, as I mentioned, 7 and 12 on the year. Only 2 and a 7 in a conference play. And they are looking to get back on the winning side of things as they have taken back-to-back -back losses to uh, Huntington, which was a 92-66 to 66 loss, and then took a loss to the number 23-ranked team in the country, the Bethel Pilots, 75-66. to 66. But in that loss, four players were in a double figures for the uh, Trojans. They're under 11th-year head coach in uh, Josh Andrews. Meanwhile, the St. Francis Cougars, they are coming off a victory against the Spring Arbor's Cougars, and they are down very, very bad. A lot of players out of the lineup here for St. Francis as they are going to be without a few starters as well. Joe Reedy out with a broken hand. Luke Almondovar, Grant Large, and Rashid Simpson. Chase Batchelor, Tyson Ower, and Aaron Etherington all out here for St. Francis. So they're going to be playing without a little less experience here on the floor. But they most recently picked up a victory with a lot of young guys, 87-62, to 62, over the Spring Arbor Cougars. That was last Saturday. Brandon Northern led the way with 23, and St. Burke pitched in 19 there for St. Francis. So we are getting set. And ready to roll here. We'll get the pregame prayer. So we'll step away here momentarily. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give you the starting lineups here for tonight for the Taylor Trojans. It'll be number one, the junior forward from Dayton, Ohio, Aaron Webb. Number 10, and Jackson Lewis, the junior guard out of Hamilton, Ohio. Number 13, and Jackson Ulam. He is the sophomore guard out of Parker City, Indiana. Number 15, and Caden Fearman. He is the junior guard out of Liberty Township, Ohio. And then at number 32 is going to get the start. Check it. That's number 23. And Isaiah Day, the freshman guard out of Middletown, Ohio. Meanwhile, for the St. Francis Cougars, it will be the sophomore guard from Salzburg, Indiana, number two, and Brandon Northern, the Junior guard from Fort Wayne, Indiana, number four. And Zena Burke, the junior guard from LaGrange, Indiana, number five. And uh, Charlie Yoder. And then uh, the junior guard from Indianapolis, Indiana, number 11. And Dorian Sanders. And uh, then the freshman forward, number 32, Isaiah Malone, out of LaGrange, Indiana. For St. Francis, it's going to be huge to try to keep Isaiah Malone out of foul trouble. Not a lot of size left here. As I mentioned, Aaron Etherington out for the season. And then Joe Reedy out with a broken hand. So St. Francis is going to have to stay out of foul trouble with their bigs down low. And Isaiah Malone being one of them at 6'8". Jackson Gowdy will also come off the bench as well. He sits at 6'7". So we'll see how this plays in an advantage or disadvantage here for the Cougars tonight. As they are getting set. 
It's going to be Taylor. They will rock the all-purple unis with the gray trim. And St. Francis will rock the gray unis with the blue and a black trim. Head coach for St. Francis is Chad LaCrosse. He's in his 13th season. Meanwhile, Josh Andrews are along the way for the Taylor Trojans in his 11th year. And so players will give their pregame fist bumps here as we get set for action. 20 minutes are now on the board, and we are going to get set and ready to roll here. It will be Malone to jump it as well as number one in Anton Webb. So we are set, Webb, Malone, and we are underway. And the tip is gonna be one out of bounce. And we will redo the tip here as Webb and Malone We'll jump it here, and it is going to be one quickly to Zane Burke. He'll go up strong and get the bucket to start the scoring. Nicely done there. John set up play, I would say that is, as Malone just had it tipped right out to him. And so Burke gets the first bucket of the game. It's Webb with it on that far side. Try to skip it here across court, and that one's last touched in and out of the hands there of number 23 in Isaiah Day, and possession will go back. Now here to St. Francis, Northern, quickly up the floor, Yoder. Now up top here into the hands of Burke. The dish down low, Malone looking to go to work. Skips off now here near side to Yoder, who goes back to Malone. He'll spin, hangs, got it. Isaiah Malone with the bucket for St. Francis. These two squads met one another all the way back on a November 18th. It was a little bit of the beginning of the season, I guess you could say. And St. Francis picked up the win at 97 to 75. And they're looking to keep things rolling here tonight. Burke with it here on this near side. And we're going to get a foul call. It'll be on Isaiah Day. That's going to be his first, team's first of the quarter. And so an inbound will come. Here for Sanders and the Cougars. As they get it in to Northern. Far side now into the hands of Yoder. Looking to drive down low. Kicks here near side. Sanders jumper long on the marker. And a nice block out here. But Malone tipped it out. And possession will go back now here to Taylor. With 18.42 left to go here in our first half. Lewis. We'll have it and move it up the floor here for Taylor. On this near side off the screen. Skips far side, three ball on the way. It is up and good there for Isaiah Day. And St. Francis quickly up the floor. Northern far side now into the hands there. Charlie Yoder trying to get Malone in the post up inside. He dribbles in on his defender, puts it off glass, couldn't get it to go. And the board comes down to Webb. Lewis. We'll now move it up ahead here on this near side of wing. Dishes it off down low. Far side, day, three ball, no good there in the corner. And Burke comes down with it here for St. Francis. Northern, far side, Burke thought about the three, instead going to drive, step back. Has it stopped at the free throw line? We'll give it off now here to Northern. Ooh, Northern with a little shake, dishes it off. Malone, triple team on him, goes up and gets the bucket. Isaiah Malone with the bucket three-point lead now here for St. Francis. On that far side of wing, it's Lewis. Skips up top. Kick it here near side. Three ball is no good there for Mullum. And the board comes down to Sanders. Quickly up the floor. Here comes Northern across the half-court line. Northern moves it off to Burke on that far side. We're going to get an offensive foul called down low. As it'll be on Isaiah Malone. That's his first, team's first of the half. And so that is not what you want to start here early on the foul call side of things. As Isaiah Malone, as I mentioned in the pregame, will have to stay out of trouble here early tonight. To try to give 
The Cougars, a shot down low on this near side. A three ball on the way. It is no good. Board comes down here to Yoder, and it'll be Northern to move it up ahead here for St. Francis. Top of the key, far side, now into the hands of Yoder. Malone, hands off to Yoder. They skip it here near side to Sanders. Pass down low. Yoder looking to spin. He looking to wear down the defender. Travel called, and possession will go back now here to Taylor. It'll be Lewis to bring it up the floor here for the Trojans. With it here on this near side, a wing. Lewis dishes down low. Little reverse lay in. Nicely done there as Webb gets the bucket. What an up and under action in a one point game now here as Northern drives to the cup and gets the finish. On this near side, it's in the hands here, Lewis. Double team brought on him, he gets it off to Webb. They skip it all the way far side, looking to drive, jumper on the way, it's money. Nicely done there, as Kaden Furman hits the jumper for the Trojans, one point game. And so Northern will now have it here for the Cougars. On that far side of wing, off to Burke, dish. Here near side, Sanders triple, got it. Dorian Sanders hits the triple for St. Francis. Four point lead. Lewis with it here on this near side, had it partially poked away. Gets it off, now here into the hands of Webb. On this near side, Lewis, extra pass. They go far side, now into the hands of Day. He'll get it back off the screen, up top. Furman. Skips cross court, three ball on the way, and it's gonna rattle home there. Isaiah Day hits the triple for Taylor. Northern, far side now into the hands of Yoder. He'll launch a three, got it. Charlie Yoder hits the triple for St. Francis. Yoder was out in the last contest with an injury. Good to see him back out here tonight as he's looking to try to help the Cougars out offensively as he has done all season long. The drive up top, Lewis with it, step back, jumper, got it, nicely done there. Lewis on a little step back action, gets his first points of the night. And so Northern now with it here for St. Francis. Looking to drive, far side, Sanders extra pass, Yoder three ball on the way, it is no good. And the board comes down here to Furman. He'll hand it off. Lewis looking to push on that far side of wing. Pass down low to Day. Passes it out here on this near side. They'll skip it cross court. Furman with the three ball off the front end of the rim. No good. And Malone comes down with the board. And it's off now here to Brandon Northrup. With it on that far side of wing. Yoder now with it. Trying to go down low to Malone. Instead, he's going to drive it himself. Kicks here near side. Sanders with the three ball off the back end of the iron. No good. And the board comes down. And the Taylor going to look to push the other way. Lewis with it here on this near side. It's poked. Burke comes away with it. He'll move it out to that far side. Up top into the hands here of Northern. And so Northern will get the play call here from head coach Chad Lacrosse as the Cougars Looking to reset, Malone, dish down low. Going up strong, Burke draws the contact and he will head to the free throw line. But before that, we will get a media timeout. That foul is called on well, number 13, Jackson Ulam. That's his first team second. Media timeout will step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, it will be Taylor. Foul is called on the day, so that will send, I believe it's Zane Burke, to the free throw line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. Junior guard out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Blackhawk Christian High School. Alumni was an 1,000 point scorer there and now at the line to shoot two. His first free throw is up and a good. Burke's second one, got it to go. So a four point lead now here for St. Francis. Has possession. With Taylor on that far side. Looking to push up ahead. They get it up the floor. Kick it here on this near side. Looking to go baseline. It's going to work it all the way out. Wool number 13 to Jackson Ulam. Near side. Newhouse to kick down low. And the bucket is good there on the end. And one opportunity coming here for Taylor as that foul is called. On Joey Bamba, that's his first, team second of the quarter. And so Anton Webb at the line to shoot. And in one opportunity. As he hits there on that free throw, he makes it a one-point game. 13.05 left to go. Northern will have it here on this near side of wing for the Kooks. Gets it off now here to Burke. Burke looking to post up. Sanders, they go to the middleman here. Charlie Yoder. Yoder back out to Sanders. Extra pass in the corner. Burke here with it. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Burke skips up. Northern three ball. No good there. And the board comes down here into the hands of Lewis. And Taylor looking to move quickly the other direction. Newhouse with it. Looking to drive down low. He'll go up and he gets the bucket. And so Taylor now out to, to the one point lead. Northern with it up top here for St. Francis. Far side to Bamba, now off here to Charlie Yoder. He'll launch a jumper there, no good, off the front end of the rim. And possession comes down now here for Taylor. Lewis with it here on this near side. Looking to drive, kicks off. Jumper on the way, it is no good, and Yoder comes down with the board here for the Cougars. Bamba. To Northern now here on this near side of wing. He'll skip off here to Burke. Far side, Bamba, three ball on the way off the front of the rim, no good. Northern it got a piece of it back to Bamba. He'll go up and he gets the bucket. Joey Bamba with the bucket. And now St. Francis out to the one point lead with 11.25 left. And we are going to get a foul called on the Cougars as Dorian Sanders picks up the foul for St. Francis. Isaiah Malone will come on and he'll replace number five in a Charlie Yoder. Off the inbounds. They get it off now here on this near side looking to drive and a jump ball is called and possession will stay on this end. Here with Taylor. As it will be an inbound here for Lewis. And the Cougars. Substitution here for St. Francis as Dorian Sanders will check out. And in for him will be number 33 and Jake Cherry. And so it is Taylor with possession. We'll have it here on this near side. Skip it, jumper on the way from Lewis is no good. Malone comes down with the board here for the Cougars. As it's Northern with it up top. Skips here near side to Bamba. Far side now, Northern with it. Looking to drive down low. Skips out to Burke here on this near side. Malone, top of the key. Dish down low to Cherry. He'll go up and he gets the bucket. And so it is Taylor with possession on that far side. Lewis, they skip it. Olam up top, 
Looking to drive Lewis far side. And Newhouse taking it down the line. Couldn't get it to go. And possession comes down now here for St. Francis. Northern will have it on that far side. He'll move it to the top of the key. No good on that three ball. Burt comes down with the board. Goes up strong and gets the bucket. And... Isaiah Malone with a little blood on him, so he will have to check out here for St. Francis. And so teams will remain on the floor here. At the Hutzel Athletic Center here. As they're going to get Malone cleaned up here on to this near side with 10.06 left. And head coach Chad LaCrosse going to take a timeout here. So we will take one with him here watching. St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. And so Charlie Uter will come in here for Malone out of the timeout called by St. Francis. It will be Taylor with possession as they move it here to this near side. Skipped up top to Lewis. Lewis looked to go to Webb and Northern poked it away here for the Cougars. This is it off now here to Burke with it on this near side. Back up top, Northern. Here with it, looking to drive down low. He'll go up off glass, and he gets the bucket. Seven-point lead here for the Cougars with 9.30 left to go here in our first half. Day will have it here on this near side of wing. Drive down low, the spin, couldn't get it to go there. Good Hodgson, and possession comes down now here for St. Francis. As that one was blocked away. Webb going to go up with it. He'll go up strong, and he gets the bucket. And so a five-point lead now here for the Cougars. Northern here with it on this near side. A dish down low to Cherry. Webb threw it off of Cherry, and so possession will go back now to Goshen. Or sorry, excuse me, wrong purple team. Taylor with 8.50 left. Lewis will have it on that far side of wing here for Taylor. Gets it out. The dish down low. Webb with a jam. And so it'll be Burke. Give it off here to Northern on this near side of the wing. Burke off to Bamba. 
with it on that far side. Now Yoder here with it for the Cougars. Yoder looking to drive on Webb. Skips out. Northern will get it back and get a screen here from Cherry. Bamba up top here to Yoder. Yoder gets through traffic, goes up strong and gets the bucket. And he'll head to the line to shoot one here for St. Francis. Isaiah Malone will come back on here for St. Francis. Jackson Ulam will come back on here for Taylor. And we'll get another substitution as Dorian Sanders comes on here for the Cougars. He replaces Zane Burt. And so Charlie Yoder at the line to shoot. One more here for St. Francis. And he's able to hit it with eight minutes left to go here in our first. It is Ulam with it on that far side of wing here for Taylor. He'll launch a three, got it. Jackson Ulam hits the triple there for the Trojans. Three point game. Northrop will have it now on that far side here for St. Francis. Looking to drive down low, blocked. And Malone came away with it. He'll go up strong, couldn't get the finish. And Webb comes down with the board for Taylor. On that far side of wing. The dish off to Webb, blocked there by Malone. And possession will go back now here for St. Francis. Yoder goes up and one opportunity. Charlie Yoder to the line for one. With 7.17 left to go here in our first half, it'll be Charlie Yoder back to the free throw line. Substitution into the contest for Taylor as Kitten Furman will come on and replace Grant Niels. And so Yoder has and one opportunity is up and good. And so it will be Ulam to bring it up ahead here for Taylor. So he gets it across the half court line. Guarded by Northern. Plays it up the floor. Hodgson far side. Ulam with a three. Got it. Jackson Ulam with another triple. And we're going to get a timeout called. And we will step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. It'll be an inbound here for St. Francis as it'll be Brandon Northern to bring it up ahead here for the Cougars. Far side. Northern gets it off to Burke. Burke skips here near side. Sanders thought about the three. Instead looking to drive. Yoder with it on this near side of wing. Double team brought to him. Up top here to Northern. He'll drive down low. Blocked there on a bounce. And possession will stay on this end here with St. Francis. As number 23 and Isaiah Day got in the air to block that one. And so it'll be Sanders set to inbound here for St. Francis. Gets it in the corner here to Burke. Gets the defender to jump. He'll go up. Off glass. Couldn't get it to go. And the board comes down now here for the Trojans. Ulam with it here on this near side. Down three. He'll stop. Kicks to Hodgson. Three ball on the way. Couldn't get it to go. And Webb's going to get called for it over the back there. That'll be his first foul. And that'll be the team's fifth. Okay. 
And so it'll be Northern. Now to move it up ahead here for St. Francis. Burke, far side now to Northern. We'll get a screen there from Malone. Off to Yoder, with it here up top. Yoder looking to drive down low, gets around the defender, goes up strong and gets the bucket. Charlie Yoder, an outstanding job there, getting both defenders to jump one at a time and is able to go up strong and get it. Nine points now on the night here for him. Check it, 11 here for the junior. Webb now here with it on this near side. Scoops out up top. Ulam leaves it off now to Webb. Handoff, far side, three ball on the way. It is no good there, and Burke comes down with the board here for St. Francis. Northern. Plays it here. Hands off now to Yoder. Yoder looking for the dish down low to Sanders. And Ulam comes away with it here for Taylor on this near side. Ulam skips. Three ball on the way from Hodgson. It's up and good. He hits the triple. Two-point game. Northern will now move it up ahead with it at the top of the key here for the Cougars. Hodgson caught a piece of it there, but Northern able to maintain it on the screen. Kicks here near side. Sanders, three ball on the way. Rattles in and out for him, but Yoder able to come down with the board here for the Cougars. Yoder goes up, draws the contact, nothing called. He'll get his own board, kicks out to Malone. He'll drive, goes up, and Isaiah Malone gets the bucket. And head coach Chad LaCrosse wants a foul called, and nobody is calling anything here. On this offensive end for the Cougars. Has possession on that far side. Ulam moves it here near side and hits the jumper. And so Northern will have it now here for St. Francis with four minutes left to go here in our first. Burke, corner three, got it. Zane Burke hits the triple for St. Francis. Lop. We'll have it now on that far side here for Taylor. He'll launch up a three. Got it. Jackson Ulam is on fire here into this one. 11 points on the night. Back-to-back -back buckets for him. And the sophomore is feeling it here tonight. Yoder with the drive down low. Contact and one opportunity here for Charlie Yoder. And a foul is going to be called on Webb. And that will be his second. And we've got line substitutions here for both squads. And we will get a media timeout with 3.25 left to go here in our first half. It is St. Francis ahead, 39-35. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live from the Hudson Athletic Center, it'll be Charlie Yoder at the free throw line here for the Cougars with 3.25 remaining here in our first half of action. Yoder's free throw is up and good. And so St. Francis now ahead here by five as Taylor with possession. Lewis get it back at the top of the key. Skips there, far side Furman, back to Lewis. Up top, all the way, far side, three ball on the way, and it is up and good there for Cade Furman. Northern will now have it here for St. Francis. With it at the top of the key. Northern, dish off to Yoder. With it here near side, Yoder looking to wear down. Double team brought to him, leaves it off. Satners puts it on the deck, goes up strong, and gets the bucket. And so the Trojans now with possession at the top of the key. Lewis here with it for Taylor. Skips far side, hands off to Newhouse. Lewis back with it. Three ball at the far side. A wing is good there for Furman. And so now only a one-point lead here for St. Francis. 42-41 is our score. Northern here with it. Far side off to Yoder. Back up top, Northern. Sanders left alone here on this near side. A wing. Northern left open from deep. He'll put up a triple. Couldn't get it to go. And the Trojans come down with possession. As Lewis will have it on that far side. Looking to drive. Skips here on this near side to Furman. Extra pass. Far side now in the corner. Looking to drive. And that one's partially blocked out of the air from Lewis. And out of bounds. Possession will stay on this end. Here with Taylor. As it will be... An inbound on that far side here from Ula. Furman here with it. Dishes it off down low. Try to find Wes Hunt. Was able to maintain it. And he goes up and gets the bucket. So Taylor now out to a one-point lead. Northern with it here. Skip it all the way far side. Now to Sanders. Corner three from Yoder is way long. And Hutt comes down with the board here for the Trojans. Under one minute left to go here in our first half. Lewis with it. Skips up top. They go far side. Jumper on the way. And it's good there for Jackson. And Ulam, 13 points on the night here for the sophomore. And he is doing tremendous here and only averaging nine and a half points per game of 13 in the first half, and it's not even over yet. 30 seconds left to go here in it. 10 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock as Northern will launch up a three. Couldn't get it to go, and Olam comes away with it here for Taylor, and he'll hand off on that far side into the hands here of Lewis as the clock is down to 10. Lewis skips it off on that far side. Furman with it. Three seconds, step back, jumper, no good. And that is the end of our first half of action. And it's Taylor going into the break with a three-point lead, 45-42 over St. Francis. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. Let's go ahead and run the halftime stats here for you. First to scoring, it was 13 points for Jackson Ulam. There to four, Taylor, Anton Weibel with nine, Kitten Furman with eight, Isaiah Day with six, Caleb Hodgson with three, Grant News with a two, Jackson Lewis with a two, and Wes Hunt with two there for Taylor. For St. Francis, it was Charlie Yoder with 14, Zane Burke with nine, Isaiah Malone with six, Dorian Sanders with five, Brandon Northam with four, Joey Bamba with two, and Jake Cherry with two points. St. Francis shot a 17 of 34 from the field, 50%, three of 13 from beyond the arc, and five of five from the free throw line. Meanwhile, for Taylor, they were eight of 13 from the field, 58.1%, eight of 15 from beyond the arc, and one of one from the charity stripe. Rebounding battle, St. Francis wins it 19 to 11, four turnovers for the Cougars, and a three for Taylor. So there are your halftime stats. Two minutes left to go here before we begin our second half of action. So we'll step away one more time and come back with the second half. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center as we're getting set to begin our second half of action. On the floor for St. Francis, it will be Brandon Northern, Zane Burke, Charlie Yoder, Dorian Sanders, and Isaiah Malone. And meanwhile, for Taylor, it looks like it'll be number 23, Isaiah Day, 15, Kitten Furman, Jackson Ulam, Jackson Lewis, and Anton Webb. It'll be St. Francis to start the second half here with possession as Burke set to inbound across the way, and he'll get it in to Brandon Northern, and we are underway here in our second half. They'll swing it far side there, now into the hands of Northern. Dish down low, Yoder looking to post up on that far side. Tries to go out to Burke, able to maintain it. They're on that far side of wing. Burke looking to drive out to Yoder. He's got five seconds on the shot clock. Got to get a shot up here. Yoder goes up and, oh, couldn't get it to go. And possession goes back now here for Taylor on this near side of wing. They'll get it up top. Webb leaves it off. Lewis looking to drive, kicks to Ulam, the three ball, got it, Jackson Ulam with another triple here for Taylor, 16 points on the night here for him, absolutely dominating here in this contest tonight. Burke now with it here for the Cougars, skips it all the way far side, Yoder 
Off to Sanders with it on that far side of wing. Yoder looking to drive. Kicks out here near side. Three ball. Got it. Dorian Sanders hits the triple for St. Francis in a three-point game. The handoff. Jumper on the way for Furman. It is some money there. And a five-point lead here for Taylor. Inbound will come here from Banner Northern as the shot clock did not start yet, but it does do so now as Northern will bring it up ahead. He'll drive off glass, could get it to go. And the board comes down now here to Webb. Looking to push pace on that far side here for Taylor. Dish to Webb. The drive kicks here near side. And we are going to get a foul called on St. Francis. Isaiah Malone will pick up the foul. That'll be his second team's first of the half. And so it'll be an inbound here for Taylor. As they get it in here to Webb. Goes up. Nicely done there. Gets the finish for the Trojans. 17.55 left. Northern will have it here now on this near side of wing. Off to Burke in this near side. Quarter three, Sanders no good. Board comes down to Webb. And now Taylor looking to push the other way. He'll go far side. Lum looking to go baseline. Four defenders came to him and he hit the deck hard. Nothing called. And Day will have it at the top of the key on that far side of wing. It's Lewis with it. Tries, kicks here near side. Day triple, no good there. Yoder. Comes down with the board for the Cougars. It'll be Northern. Now to move it up ahead here for St. Francis. Burke with it here. Spins. Kicks out. Sanders at the top of the key. We'll go back up top here to Burke. Dish down low. Malone strong. Nicely done there. Gets the finish. And so it's possession. Now here with the Trojans. As it is Lewis. To bring it up ahead, 16.53 left here to go in our second half of action. And off far side, they'll go back out to Lewis with it on that far side of wing. It's an off up top. Ulam with it. Skips far side, now to Furman. Furman with it, five seconds on the shot clock. Kicks here near side, three ball from Day is up and good. Isaiah Day hits the triple there for Taylor. Uh, St. Francis now with possession. Sanders, top of the key. This is it, down low. Yoder looking to go up with it on that far side. Off to Malone, and a foul is going to be called. As I did not start the clock at all. My apologies here, folks. We'll match it up with what is on the scoreboard, maybe. As we'll put 16-10 on it. And start here on the inbound from Dorian Sanders. Schroeder checks out. Bamba comes in. And we're going to have to fix the shot clock here as they get it. 220. And an inbound will come here from Sanders and the Cougars. Gets it in far side to Burke. Off to Malone. Going up strong. Nothing called. And possession going to go back. On that far side, Ulam gets the defender to jump. Three ball, got it. Jackson, Ulam hits the triple for Taylor. He is feeling it tonight here, folks. Ulam now with 19 points on the night as Burke gets the bucket on the other end to match it. A nine-point lead here for the Trojans. Lewis. We'll have it on that far side, gets a screen. Looking to drive down low, skips up top. Three ball, top by the key, it is good there for number 15 and Kenan Furman. And Taylor is feeling it from beyond the arc here tonight. They are shooting 12 of 20 from the three point line and they are absolutely lining up from deep here as it is the Cougars with possession. Burke. Near side, triple, got it. Zane Burke with the three ball for St. Francis. And a timeout is called by the Cougars. So we will step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
here live out of the timeout. 16.03 left to go here in our second half of action. It is a 61-52 score. Taylor with the lead, as I mentioned before that break. They are absolutely crushing it from deep here tonight. 12 for 20 from beyond the arc are the Trojans, and they are lighting it up here as we'll get an inbound here for Taylor. And shot clock did not start here. And score board continues to run. And they're going to put 15-01 on the board. As that is exactly what I had here. Look at me matching it up. Nicely done here. And... So we will wait for the scores table to figure things out here. And then we'll get back to action. But the Trojans are crushing it from beyond the arc here tonight. As still waiting to get that scoreboard figured out. 15.01 on the board. They got to put 28 seconds on the shot clock. And they do do so. And so we will inbound here, and the Trojans will have possession. As Lewis will bring it up ahead here for Taylor. It's an off from that far side. A dish down low. Fadeaway jump shot. Ooh, nicely done in the air. Furman hits the jumper. And so it's the Cougars with possession. Sanders with it on that far side, a wing. Off now here into the hands of Burke. Burke skips here near side. Sanders extra pass. Bamba three ball on the way. It is no good. And the board comes down now here into the hands of Webb. As the Trojans will move it up ahead. Davis looking to drive. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a move there in the bucket. It's good for Lewis. And possession will now go back here to the Cougars. As Burke with it at the top of the key. As the bucket is good there from Zane Burke, the triple. Now I'm not sure if I can try to like switch my filters here on the stats, but from my knowledge, I don't think Taylor's missed a shot here in this second half as Lewis with the bull by for the bucket. And possession back now here with the St. Francis. Sanders on that far side of wing. Puts it up top. He'll skip here near side. Burke three ball. Got it. Zane Burke hits the triple for St. Francis. And so a nine point lead. Step back on that far side. Day does it down low here. Webb guarded by Malone. Webb looking to drive. Gets Malone to jump. He goes up and gets the bucket. And so 69-58. Now our score inbound here for the Cougars. As it's Northern to bring it up ahead for St. Francis. He'll skip on that far side. Malone now with it. Looking to post up on Ulam. As Webb tried to block it, couldn't get it to go. Malone goes up and gets the bucket. Nine-point game as it is Taylor with possession. Lewis on that far side, a wing. He'll move it here to this near side. Ulam with it. Dish down low. Webb looking to go up. Or, or excuse me, Sanders poked it away, but out. Three ball, Furman hits the triple. And one opportunity. My goodness. Taylor is feeling it here in this second half. Foul is going to be called on a number 11. And Dorian Sanders, and we will have a media timeout. Taylor on a roll. They are ahead 72 to 60 over St. Francis. You are watching. St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live, it's going to be Kitten Furman at the free throw line to shoot an in one opportunity. And looking, as I mentioned, at my stats here from the second half of action, Taylor has only missed a one shot here in the second half as Furman drains the free throw there. And it is the Cougars now with possession as 12.08 left to go. On top. Here in both free throws, and so it is Taylor with possession as Hodgson with it at the top of the key. Skips on that far side. Taylor shooting 15 of 16 here from the field in this second half of action as we have reached nine minutes left to go. Running floater there is no good. And only the second miss here as Yoder comes down with the board for the Cougars. Northern. With it up top, he'll drive down low and one opportunity here for Brandon Northern. And he will head to the line to shoot one here for the Cougars. Fouls called on Lewis to second team fourth. So Brandon Northern will now be at the free throw line. Substitution into the contest as Kitten Furman checks on and he replaces Jackson Lewis. And so it will be Brandon Northern at the line to shoot one here for the Cougars. And one free throw is up and good there for Northern. And so possession will be back now here with the Trojans on this near side. Ulam brings it ahead. Hands off to Furman on the back cut down low. Furman and one opportunity here for Caden Furman. And he'll go to the line for one more here for the Trojans. And so Caden Furman with 21 points at the line for one more here with 840 left. His free throw is up and good there. So 86 67 is our score. Northern quickly the other way. Gets off to Yoder on that far side of wing. Yoder looking to post up. A move in here. Trying to go far side. It's blocked in the air and Day takes it away. Here for Taylor. It'll be Ulam to bring it up ahead with it on that far side of wing. Skips up top to Day. Extra pass now here to Furman. Day. Far side, Ulam will look down low to Hodgson. Back out to Ulam, three ball, no good there. Off to back end of the iron. And possession comes down now here for St. Francis. Yoder with it here now, looking to post up from that far side of wing. And that's knocked out of bounds. And possession will stay on the end Here with the Cougars, 7.53 left to go here in our second. Anton Webb. We'll come back on here for Taylor, as well as number 10. And Jackson Lewis will make his way back on here for Taylor as well. And that one's poked out of bounds as they try to get it into Burke. And we'll get another inbound here for St. Francis, as that is Zach Hubbard. Looking to inbound here for the Cougars. Gets it into Northrend. Goes up. Couldn't get it to go. And possession goes back. Down that far side here for Taylor. Day. Skips here near side. Furman. Day. Far side now in the hands of Lewis. A look. Off to Webb. Webb guarded by Gowdy. Looking to get it on him. And a foul is going to be called. Jackson Gowdy will pick up the foul. That's going to be his first to team's fourth of the quarter. And so it'll be an inbound tier for Taylor. As they get it in on that far side of wing. That is Furman up top now here to date. Webb now with it. Looking to drive down low. Euro step move, no good. And the board comes down now here for the Cougars. Burke trying to go up ahead to Yoder. That one's thrown out of bounds. And possession will go back now here to the Trojans with 7-10 left to go here in our second half of action. Davis will now bring it up ahead here for Taylor. Guarded by Northern. 
Gets it across the half court line. Webb looking for the handoff today instead. Goes up top to Furman. He'll launch a three. No good there. Board comes down though to Webb. He'll spin. Hangs. Got the bucket. And so Webb gets the bucket there for Taylor. Quickly the other way. Northern goes up and draws the contact. And he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Jackson Lewis will pick up the foul there. And so that will send Brandon Northern to the line for one here for the Cougars. Check it for two. As his first free throw is up and good. Substitutions into the contest. Isaiah Malone and Joey Bamba will come back on here for St. Francis. And then Kobe Kitten Furman on the floor with Grant Newhouse as well. On that far side, going to get a quick foul here called on a Northern. And so that will be his second, team's fifth. And so an inbound will come here for Ulam and the Trojans. Skip here on this near side. Way back to our side looking to drive. The dish over the top. Webb with it. Goes up and gets the bucket. Webb with the score there for Taylor. And now possession with the Cougars on that far side. Northern with it. St. Francis down 22. 5.55 left to go. And Malone has that one ripped away. Far side. Going to drive. Lewis dishes off. Webb puts it on the deck. Couldn't get it to go. Northern takes it away. Now moving up ahead here for St. Francis. On this near side, Burke with the three ball. No good. And Webb comes down with the board. Here for the Trojans. Lewis with it here on this near side. Gets a screen. Kicks it on that far side of wing. And they'll go back to him now here with it at the top of the key. What? With it. Skips cross court. Three ball on the way. It's up and good there. And so the three ball is good. As that is Furman, now with 27 on the night here for Taylor. Far side, Hubbard draws the contact and he'll head to the line to shoot three free throws here for St. Francis. As my apologies, that's Joey Bamba. But before that, we will get a media timeout and we will step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Inbound coming across the way here for St. Francis, 4.49 on the clock. It'll be Hubbard to inbound here for the Cougars. Northern, our side Hubbard, now off to St. Burke. Burke, get it back inside, out to Bamba, three ball on the way, it is no good. Board battled for Malone, knocked it out of bounds, and possession will go back to the Trojans. Jackson Gowdy will check on for Isaiah Malone. And so the Trojans with possession now here on this near side of wing. The crossover, they get it on that far side. Jack with it. Up top, Day looking to dish down low to Webb. And St. Francis takes away with possession. Gowdy had it poked out of bounds. And possession will stay on the end here with the Cougars. As they get it in here to Zane Burke. With it at the top of the key. Burke spins, kicks out. Northern now with it on that far side. He'll spin, dishes off. Gowdy goes up, couldn't get that one to go. And it is Taylor who comes away now here with possession. It's 3.35. Left to go here in our second. Three ball, top of the key. It drains there for Furman. And Furman now with 30 on the night here for Taylor. Burke kicks here on this near side. Northern, ooh, nice move there. Fancy stuff. Brandon Northern gets the bucket for St. Francis. Now down 26. Here with three minutes left to go. Trojans with possession now here on this near side. Furman, dish down low. Going to go up strong there. Burke with great defense for the Cougars. He'll slow it down. Off to Bamba. He'll drive. Hangs. Got it. And one opportunity here for Joey Bamba. His foul is going to be called on a number one. And Anton Webb, that'll be his third. And so that is going to send Bamba to the line to shoot here for St. Francis. Uh, Zane Burke will check out here for the Cougars. Say a day will check out for Taylor as number four. And Grant Newhouse comes on. As well as number 34, and Caleb Hudson, Brandon Northern, checks out for the Cougars as well. As Bamba couldn't get that second one to go, and it is possession. Now here with a Taylor, 96-72 is our score. And on that far side of wing, it's Jackson with it. Gets a screen. He'll drive down low, dishes it off, going up strong. The bucket is good. Count it for Grant to do us. Hubbard off to Gowdy with it up top. He'll launch a jumper. No good there. And the board comes down now here to Furman. And so Lewis will have it on that far side. St. Francis playing down a lot, a lot of players here as they have multiple players on their bench dressed in street clothes due to entries. So not a good look here for the Cougars as that one's blocked. They're on that far side. Gowdy and Cherry got a piece of it. Hubbard, the drive down low, couldn't get it to spin home, gets his own board. Off to Gowdy, he'll put it up and he gets the bucket. And a 
timeout is going to be called as they're going to go get some players into the contest. Will Taylor going to bring some bench players on. Will head coach Josh Andrews, so we'll step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Inbound here for the Trojans as they have cleared the bench. 123 left to go here in our second half of action. And so it'll be number 31 and John Mecklemore to bring it up ahead here for Taylor. That far side, it's now up top. Mecklemore with it. On this near side, a wing. This is an off. It's Jones. That's a McLemore. Thought about the jumper. Instead goes down to Jones. He'll go up with it. Off. Glass gets the bucket. And Taylor has struck 100. Triple digits here for the Trojans. 55 seconds left to go. Here in it. Sanders. Far side, a wing. Now to the hands of Bamba. Lift it off here for Gowdy. With it on that far side, he'll launch a jumper off the back end of the iron. No good. And the board comes down here to Mickle. McLemore with it on that far side. Skips here. Near side wing. They'll look down low. Jones with it. Looking to post up. He'll spin. Hangs into the defender. No good. Sanders comes down with the board here for St. Francis with 15 seconds left to go. Clock will continue to roll. Bamba with it on that far side wing. And it will go to Hubbard. And he'll just dribble this one out. And that will be our final. And so it is Taylor who wins this one 100 to 74 they improved to 8 and 12 on the year 3 and 7 in conference play meanwhile St. Francis will fall to 11 and 9 and 4 and the 6 in conference play the final stats here for you let's go ahead and run them down here while we have time it is Zane Burke who finished tonight with 24 St. Francis 18 for Charlie Yoder 10 for Brandon Northern 10 for Isaiah Malone, 8 for Dorian Sanders, 4 for Joey Bamba, 2 for Jackson Gowdy, and a 2 for Jake Cherry. Meanwhile, for Taylor, it was Caden Furman who led the way with 30, Jackson Ulam with 21, Anton Webb with 17, Isaiah Zay with 9, Caleb Hodgson with 9 as well, Jackson Lewis with 6, Great Newhouse with 4, Wes Hunt with 2, and Grant Jones with a 2. Taylor shot in a very, very impressive 40 of 61 from the field. That's a 65.6% from field goal range, 17 of 27 from beyond the arc, 63%, and a perfect 3 of 3 from the charity stripe for 100%. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, 29 of 61 from the field, 7 of 24 from beyond the arc, and 9 of 11 from a free throw line. St. Francis does win the rebound battle, though, 29-26. Turnovers were 9 for St. Francis and 5 for Taylor. Next up for the Trojans, they will head and take on 
Mount Vernon Nazarene University back at home. And then meanwhile, for this is St. Francis Cougar squad that is very, very banked up. Their next contest will take place at Goshen on a Wednesday with a women's men's doubleheader. And then we'll have the Huntington University Foresters make the travel in here next week for a doubleheader starting at 1 p.m. But on until then, we thank you so much for joining us here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. You've been watching St. Francis Cougars basketball.